We, the jury, in the above entitled matter as to count one, unintentional second degree murder while committing a felony, find the defendant guilty. It was a moment long awaited by Floyd's family. To see him handcuffed and walk out of that courthouse like my brother was handcuffed. That told me he had no more power. He's not in control anymore, but my brother is in control. The images of Chauvin pinning Floyd to the pavement with his knee on Floyd's neck while he gasped out that he couldn't breathe triggered worldwide protests and calls for police reform. The guilty verdict was greeted with jubilation mixed with sorrow across the city of Minneapolis. We don't celebrate a man going to jail. We would have rather George be alive. Amen. But we celebrate that we, because young people, white and black, some castigated, many that are here tonight, marched and kept marching yeah. and kept going. Yeah. President Biden welcomed the verdict, saying Floyd's murder ripped the blindfolds off the problems with race and policing in the U.S. The guilty verdict does not bring back George. But through the family's pain, they're finding purpose. So George, George's legacy will not be just about his death, but about what we must do in his memory. Crowds gathered at the spot where Floyd's death had been witnessed and filmed, shocking the world. It's the first time in the state of Minnesota that a white police officer involved in the death of someone while on duty has been convicted, let alone convicted of murder. Evening Laverick, Euronews. Well, our reporter Andy Rosgen is in Minneapolis and he joins me now. Um, Andy, uh, tell us more about the reaction in the city last night as the verdict came out. Elation, Alistair, and uh, relief, joy, a lot of tears going on, a lot of people hugging each other. I'm right now outside George Floyd Square where he died. They cleared out the area for the night, but earlier, as you saw in that report, thousands of people showed up. Uh, people of all races and ages uh, made a pilgrimage from all over the city just to come down here uh, when the verdict was read. People came down with their kids. Couples came down with their dogs. And they were so excited. They wanted to get that feeling out of just relief of the fact we've got to the end of this. But they all made it clear, Alistair, that this is not the end of the story, at least not what they hope is the end of the story. They wanted it to be just the beginning of the story of big changes now in society and policing regarding race that hopefully will take this community and the state and the nation, for that matter, to a, a higher level. Alistair? When you talk about... You talk of big changes. President Biden said this can be a moment of significant change. Um, is it a moment of healing for America? To what extent are people feeling optimistic or are they still wary? Well, it depends on who you talk to. You know, there are so many white people when you ask them here in Minneapolis, how is this verdict going to come down before the verdict was announced? And so many white people would say, well, of course he's going to get convicted. It's a slam dunk. But so many black people were so wary, so afraid that it would not happen. I talked to young one, uh, one young woman, uh, Autumn Adkins, right after the verdict was announced in front of the courthouse. And here's what she had to say about that. Incredible, but it's also like, it's like feels unreal because the last few years have been so disappointing. We've seen other people go down the same way without any justice. So it's, it's exciting, but it's also kind of scary to feel like something could happen. I want it to happen, so I don't want to be disappointed. You know, Alistair, out here outside George Floyd Square, I saw a gentleman walking around with a big sign that said, police, this does not absolve you, as if to say, look, you're not off the hook. Uh, for policing policies going forward. And one woman carried a sign that said, you're next, Kim Potter. She's the uh, Minneapolis area white police officer who shot and killed Dante Wright here during the trial, just a few miles away. So clearly there are still issues to be worked out here.